Right out exploring today. I'm uh, in this beautiful evergreen forest looking for an abandoned cabin on uh, public lands. I got some information. There's an old cabin out here that somebody built and I guess it's unmaintained and just gonna, gonna head out. I got this far on the motorbike and we're heading out on foot from there. And uh, let's have a look and see what we can find. That there is some very fresh moose droppings on the way in here. Good to know that the moose are in here. Now just to show you, this is what real unmanaged forest looks like. I mean, nobody has logged in here in forever, if at all. It's all down trees. It, I mean, it really is a mess. I've been walking for a little bit now, and I finally come to something interesting. I don't know if we can see. We'll punch just through here, and I think I found the little lake that people were talking about. This is gorgeous. And I mean, if you could be here, you can just smell the evergreens in the air, that warm kind of just end of spring, beginning of summer day. So I am going to head that way. Um, we look like we're at the end of it here. This goes into a beautiful uh, river system. Um, great canoeing. I mean, we're remote here that nobody, basically nobody runs these waters, but we're going to head that way and see if we can find this cabin site. And we have found it. Look at that. Just remote. And let's, uh, let's get some little pictures of it and some of the scenery here. This lake is just beautiful. I don't know what I would guess it to be, maybe five to 10 acres. And I mean, very, very secluded. Uh, looks like a gravel bottom. And unlike a lot of Northern lakes, this one is like crystal clear. I don't know what kind of fish we would have in here. I suspect a pike and pickerel. Oh, it could be some speckled trout and brook trout in here as well. But just beautiful location. I mean, I'm down here at the edge of the uh, the beach here, and the cabin is just up. You can just see it there, poking through the trees. Just a gorgeous location, and I mean, looking at the the pop cans, it looks like no one's been here since probably the uh, the early '80s, maybe even the '70s. Great potential here for a. Uh, an off-grid little, cute little A-frame cabin. So, I had to stop and get my lunch while I'm here. My intentions were to open this can of beans with pork and molasses on a stone. Not thinking that, of course, surrounded by bedrock everywhere, I find the one location that is gravel. So, I'm gonna have to figure something else out for that. 
What I brought with me today though, uh, it's a little chilly here, about one degree Celsius, so about, I don't know, 34 Fahrenheit this morning. So I brought a neat little camp stove with me and uh, gonna get a fire going in that and uh, cook up some lunch while we're at the cabin. I mean, this is a gorgeous little cabin. It's, uh, I don't know the size, maybe 10 by 15, little A-frame. Uh, obviously signs of an old cot there. Just such a great little potential, I mean, for some boards and uh, to clean it up, a couple of sheets of plywood, this could be a beautiful little remote cabin. I mean, there is nobody. I mean, there's not a person living within at least, you know, 20, 30 kilometers of here. And there's absolutely, you know, there's no cottages, there's no anything close by here. My understanding is, um, looking at the satellite photographs, you could put a canoe in here and you could go right to Lake Superior from where we are, which is, you know, 100 kilometers away. It's a beautiful, beautiful location with a lot of potential. All right, let's cook some beans. Usually my go-to far starting stuff would be birch bark around here, but we are really into an area with basically all evergreens. But I love these little camp stoves. I mean, you get a little fire going. I use especially uh, ice fishing. Oh, it's wonderful. Just a great little setup. There's nothing better when you're trying to get a fire started and just to use a little cotton ball. I'm just sitting here I can hear the fish jumping in the lake here. I mean, shame on me for not bringing my fishing rod so I can let you know what's out here. Now, for anyone who hasn't tried one of these little uh, twig stoves, try it. I mean, just look at the burn. Look at the way it burns. And for, as you saw, you know, a handful of sticks that are garbage, we got a fire going here. And try next impossible task. Open a can of beans with a knife. That is lunch. And a setting like this, it's uh Gorgeous, gorgeous spot. I mean, thinking back to the cabin here, it's got, doesn't need a whole lot of work to get going. It's definitely something I would consider putting some effort into. To have a little location out in the woods. It's maybe been two minutes and we got this thing in a boil here. Almost too much of a boil. I am really, really, really regretting not bringing a fishing rod today. That was good. <laughs> well, you enjoyed that adventure. Got a few more places like this I'm uh, looking at finding. See you next time. Black by doors. <laughs>